What would you get if you took a group of today's top surfers and gave them a chance to write a collection of surfing's most iconic boards from the past, as well as the most intriguing shapes of the future? You'd get Red Bull Decades, a new web series that shows where surfing has come from and where it's going. To keep things fresh and challenging, you need to ride different boards. After a long trip with thousands of pounds of gear in tow, the boards and crew made it to the Tuamotu Islands, where the super yacht, aptly named Ultimate Lady, was waiting. I spent a lot of time right here. It was time to unveil the first challenge of Red Bull decades. In the early 60s, Greg Knoll, shaper, surfer, was trying to pioneer an untamed wild third reef pipeline. So Greg took it upon himself to carve out this beast you see next to me. This is the elephant gun. They're shaped by Greg's son, Jed. I am the son of Greg Knoll, whose board we recreated for this project. The board was shaped in 1964, and it was used to surf third reef pipeline for the very first time. We use a three quarter inch cedar stringer down the center that's the same width as what he used originally. We used Volan cloth in order to replicate the overall weight as the original board. The board dimensions are 11 feet 2 inches long, 22 and 5 eighths inches wide, and about 3 and 3 quarter inches thick. When he shaped this board, foam had only been around for about six years. The places that he was surfing were had never been surfed before. There was nobody to quiz and say, well, how did your board work at Third Reef Pipe? Uh, there was nobody to ask. The fin was what they called a chopstick fin. They had a, it was clear fiberglass with a piece of wood in it. The only times that we've recreated this board has been more as an art piece. Um, this is the first time for the Red Bull Decades project that these boards have ever been recreated specifically to ride. So good luck. <laughs> we got one each for you, so I guess without further ado, grab your boards, wax up, and let's see what you can do. When we got the Greg Knoll boards into our hands and we all were kind of looking at each other with like a guilty look, like we felt bad waxing it up. Like that's a board that you'd buy at an auction and hang on your wall with light features and you know that's like an art piece. I think the fin might drag across the reef on those small ones. <laughs> so I plan the ride high. That's my whole theory. Do it way up there. Yeah, I plan the ride high? Yeah. <laughs> Real high. Everyone was just kind of laughing and having a good time with it and joking around and that's kind of how I thought that I could see the trip going and stuff and that was the first session we had so it kind of set the good vibes for the trip. saw Jamie like pig dogging for the barrel on this 11 foot board and I was like, what is he doing? Like, he's mad. All of a sudden he's like, well, I should at least try it. Long enough to get in early that you don't have the steep drop, then you can just hold your line the whole way. It's cool, it feels like you're flying. See, so you get barrels. I saw Jamie get like a five second barrel and like side slip sideways halfway through it, and I was like, whoa.
actually screaming. I felt like a little kid. I was all psyched on it. It was rad. To be riding one of these boards in a perfect firing, drainy little left, it was a little dream, you know? It was so fun. Sometimes it's